In this video, I want to set up a data structure to allow us to more easily figure out what building type we have. So right now, for example, I have a foundation and then I have a wall. I want to figure out or set up a way to know which one I currently have. Because right now, the only thing I have to go by for that is this index right here. Nothing more. So we're going to create a data structure to kind of house this information for us. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and do mine just right here in this public section. Right click. We're going to add a new, uh, a new file and we're going to name it data types.h. So let's create that. Now we want to include the, let's see, what is it called? Is it, it's like generated. It follows along with the include by default. So we have our class or not our class, our file, then dot generated dot h. So data types dot generated dot h not a capital so that and that should allow us to compile and everything so i'm going to go ahead and close down the editor just you know to make sure and create well let's actually just compile first so let's build the project and see okay i don't know why i had to pause it that built instantly i guess it didn't because we didn't actually set up anything to be changed so for now we're just going to do a ustruct going to be a blueprint type just in case we need to use it from blueprint so struct it's going to be f uh let's see f building visual type i guess yeah yeah that'll be work that'll be fine then we're going to do generated body like always and now we want to have the information so i want to store two things the building mesh itself i want to have that in there and then i want to have an enum that kind of allows us to see what type we are on easily. So let me actually move this over a bit. So first off, let's get the mesh. So we have our building meshes. I'm just going to copy that U property and paste it and remove it from being a TRI. So let's just call it building mesh. And then we have an enum. However, we have to create the enum. So it's going to be a U enum. Again, blueprint type, do enum, then crap. What is it for you and eights? Uh, I can't remember the syntax. Let me look it up real quick. Alrighty, so it's class, then the name. So we're going to do e uh, build type, and then the type, which is you and eight. So now we want to do the type. So currently we have the foundation and the wall. So we're going to do foundation, then it's you meta display name equals well foundation we're going to have the wall so wall you meta display name equals wall all right that should be it so now we can just add another u property and this one is going to be of e build type build type and i gotta reverse the order i believe because top to bottom like so and there we go so we have our enum that contains our foundation and our wall then we have our data structure which contains the mesh that we want for the type and then the type so let's give that a shot and see if that builds just fine i hope okay we built just fine let's go ahead and load up i'm an idiot i forgot to add that to our uh, building visual so let's go to building visual.h and we're going to include our data types.h from here we want to have our tra but instead we want to have it be of the type uh, sorry instead of having it as a static mesh we want it to be our type which was f building visual type like so and then these are going to be our building mesh or let's just call it our building types and we can iterate through them how we need so since we rename that let's go to our .cpp and fix wherever we renamed it like so so here we have it and we want to make sure that it's valid so if building types and we want to access you know a specific index is that what i'm doing yeah index we want to access kind of in a different way wait a minute this should actually building meshes index building types is a tier right building types why is that not able to get it Oh, right, because it can't convert it, because we're not getting the type. 
So we want to do dot building mesh just to make sure that that is valid. Then for set static mesh, we want to make sure we do dot building mesh just again make sure we are getting the mesh. Now I'm going to rename building meshes index to building type index. That should make it a little bit easier for us. So let's go wherever we need. We need to do these down here as well. Like that. And then we have to replace the building meshes. So we're going to copy building type like that, like that, and like that. And as always, we have to do replace the end with building meshes. So that way we're getting the pointer to our mesh. So that all we did was really rename. Nothing fancy, so let's go ahead and recompile and relaunch. Okay, let's go ahead and reopen that class. So right there. And here we have our building types. So let's open the first one. We have our building mesh. So that's going to be our foundation. By default, it's using the foundation for the type. Now we have the next one, which is going to be our wall. And we're going to change the build type to wall. Compile and save. And let's just uh, see. So we press B. Very good. Scroll. And that is all working. We can change. Okay. So we're back where we were, except now the difference is we have access to the type. So if I want to see what, you know, which one we're on, all I have to do is literally that. And this allows us to see what building type we are currently on. So whether or not we're on a foundation or we're on a wall, well, we can easily see. So, yeah, that's all we got to do. Then we can just perform an enum, or sorry, a switch statement to iterate through and perform different actions based on whatever condition we decide and go from there. So that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons as well as you get early access to all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.